Good day, everybody, and welcome to another episode of ProCon Know-How. Today, we'll be delving into ProBot 2D's PileCap wizard. I've recently published some blogs on the different wizards and tools available within the ProBot 2D extension. Today, we're just going to quickly look at the PileCap wizard. So, clicking on the PileCap wizard there, you'll see this window open up where you can set the PileCap name, the member name, the number of elements, first bar mark, the bar layer, let's just change that to one. You can select the pile cap type, so it's rectangu rectangular or triangular, the lap length, or the length, sorry, the length, the width, and the height. And that all is described here in this little diagram for you, the number of piles, the pile diameter, LX1, LX2, LX3, BY1, BY2, and BY3. You can say with or without column, your stub height, your column width, and your column height. And then here you can set your main bar, so your spacing, bottom and top, your circumferential bars, circumferential lap length, and your diagonal bars and your diagonal bandwidth as well. Then you've got your bottom cover and top cover and side cover, and all of this information you can set here. Then lastly, you do have a calculate pile position, and that's something you can also have a look at as you populate this little window here. So, okay, we're going to keep everything as is, but all I'm going to say is, okay, I'm going to place it, and you see all of that has been done for me. And all of these are still rebar entities, which you can modify if need be. All right. And the dimensions are there for you as well. I think that's really, really cool. It really simplifies this process so that you don't have to draw any of this in by hand. All you can do is spend some time with neatening this up and getting it ready for printing. All right, and then what we can do is you can open up the scheduler. You can see there's one warning. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to Modify, click on Continuous, click on Renumber. Would you like to optimize your bars? Yes. Select all of these entities, press Enter. There's a little bit of a problem here. So no shape code specified. So which bar is that? Oh, it's these bars here. So what I need to do is just click on these bars. Here's the properties. And somewhere along here, we can have a shape code. Let's call that C. So I do believe I want to match these shape codes. So we're going to look at the shape code, the shape code 35. And what we're going to do here as well is just select shape code 35. All right, same here. Let's have a look here. All right, yes. Okay, so let's just renumber again. Select everything, press enter, and there we go. Optimized and ready for publishing. I hope you found this short little clip informative. Uh, subscribe to our to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more.